Hey guys, Darko Cyclone FPV, and I'm getting some RMAs done today. Uh, still got my, <coughs> still got my cold. <coughs> going on week four, and it's not really cold. Now it's just an obnoxious cough. But in either case, um, so I'm getting the bench ready. I'm gonna open this box up real quick. Uh, I'm gonna keep the box, uh, the label down, so I'll show you guys in just a minute once I open the box up. Okay, razor blade down. Open this up. All right, now I think from here I can kind of show you guys. Okay, so here's what we have. All right, we have an air unit right here. Um, let me now share the bench screen with you. There we go. So we have an air unit right here, and this customer just bought this air unit, okay? And I mean, I've never seen this happen before, um, so it kind of was puzzling to me, but he said, hey, look, I... Uh, I got this air unit and when I try, I've plugged it in. Now it comes like this, right? There's no cables that come with these air units when you get them like this. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at it because man. Okay, well, anyways. So got this on the third and let us know on the fifth that there's a problem, okay? So I'm looking at it now and that's my job. That's what I do. Let me turn this camera just a little bit like that. There we go. It's my job. So I've got to inspect it. So the first thing I'm noticing just, just out of the box is Man, there are definitely some nicks and scratches on this thing that don't jive with it being new, but that could just be, I don't know. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is, usually I'm gonna put this under the microscope. Now, um, actually, I don't even need to do that. I need to test it first to see if that's the problem. So I've got a board here that I use. It's got a DJI plug on the end of it. It's a JHMCU board, I believe. And I'm just gonna place it right here, turn this on, and I'm gonna plug this in, okay? And we're gonna see uh, what, uh, this light does. So this is the light. Let me flip this so these wires are out of the way. Okay. All right. So the light is green right now, but apparently, and he's right. When you push the bind button, nothing happens. Okay. All right. So let me, uh, that being said, now I'm going to inspect the unit. Um, so let me take this out of the way. Let me bring this on. Now keep in mind that this is a, uh, let me put the camera on the screen for you guys. Okay, so what caught my eye, I mean just by taking it out of the box, what caught my eye, and I'm gonna look this up real quickly because I'm curious to see what this is, is this nick right here. You can see that clearly when you, um, let me turn the light down because it'll show. I mean this is, I mean, this whole thing doesn't look new. This is supposed to be brand new, by the way. Now, I have another brand new one sitting here somewhere. Uh, right here. I actually just opened this because I'm getting ready to install it. This is what a brand new one looks like, okay? I mean, you could see it. Look at it. It's perfectly clean. I mean, I don't know what's... Well, maybe there's a little dust there. It can wipe right off. Yeah. Okay, but this is concerning to me. Uh, I mean, we've got... I don't know. Let me see if I can wipe half this off. Let me, let me let me wipe this down. Maybe it's just dirty. Maybe the workbench got a little dirt on it, or he was working on it. Who knows? Okay. Let me wipe the whole thing down. This is my alcohol pad, the wipe that I use on the table. So let's see. Okay, let's get back to it now. I mean, it like. Let's see if I can get in here. Can we get that out. Yeah. Okay. So. I guess that's decent, but what does concern me is, look at this right here. Now, again, this I'm just I'm just making notes because this is what I do, is I have to make notes on all these things. This is a three millimeter gash in this top plate. I, I, I don't know why on a brand new unit you would have that, but okay. Um, let's, wipe that. let's see the bottom of this. I just wipe this down. I could feel it when I was wiping, right here, I could feel this as I was wiping the bottom plate. I mean, you've got marks that didn't come off, like right here. You've got this, another gash, about two millimeters at an angle right there. It's not making sense to me, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, let's check the sides out real quick. Okay, so where USB port goes, I don't know what this little red string is. All right, let's turn this over. Wow, that's, okay, so this, this is weird to me. I mean, like, it is kind of weird that you have so many scratch marks on a unit that's brand new out of the box. We got, we got, we got markings and everything. I don't know. So I will tell you this. Um, I'm going to inspect the unit anyway, but I'm going to tell you that usually when I get a unit that looks like this, there's absolutely no way I, 
let me check something out here. I'm going to look at this real quick. This is a new unit. This is his unit. I just got to look here. I mean, these little nicks, for something being out of the box, never flown, by the way. Never flown, never used. Uh, couldn't bind it, so he couldn't use it. So, one of the tests that I do, and, and this is just something, is I wipe the, well, that was easy. So wiping the glue off is extremely easy, which usually means that there's a problem there. Now let me look at this plug. Okay. Plug here. That's, the, that's his plug. This is a new unit plug. I just... These are from this, they're supposed to be from the same batch. These, all of my air units came from the same batch at the same time. And I definitely have, all right, whatever. Um, I mean, it's pretty clear to me to tell which one's new and which one has a little bit of discoloration. This one has the dirt and discoloration on it. It's definitely not as clean as this one that I just opened the box today. Okay, now the, again, both of these are supposed to be brand new. Not gonna worry about it because, uh, well, I'm just not gonna worry about it right now. Um, okay. Now, looking at the side here, everything looks decent. It just is very odd to me that if you've never used the air unit, how you have metal, how, do you, how you have metal pieces chipped off, right? How do you have, <coughs> this. How do you get this when you've never used the unit before? It doesn't come out of the box this way. And it, it's not something that is easily done. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So here's what we have. We have a unit <coughs> that uh, I would, under normal circumstances, I would say, based on the appearance of this unit, I'm not going to warranty it here. I would send it to DJI. However, um, I am going to troubleshoot this quickly because I do know of an issue and I'm going to take this apart. I do know of an issue where this will not, well, you will have this problem and believe it or not, it's related to the cable. Now, I don't know this customer and I'm not, and I know he's going to see this video. So let me just say to you, sir, this is nothing against you by any means. I have to treat everything like this is just, it's a coincidence and I will. But at the same time, I did run the serial number, and it is under warranty at DJI. Um, so I, it could easily just be sent to them by you, <coughs> and they take care of you. However, I told you to send it to me because I'd never seen this before. And so far, I will tell you that I've never seen a brand new air unit have pieces of the outer casing cut off or chipped off. So we definitely have an issue here. Now, assuming... What gets me thinking, okay, now I'll just say this, and I say this lightly, so please don't take offense to it, the person who owns this, because I'm not saying you did this, but under normal circumstances, I would say that somebody opened the unit up, changed out one of the boards, and took it from another unit, put it in here, and said, hey, I've got a bad unit, I'm gonna order a good unit, swap some of the boards inside, and then I'm gonna keep the good unit, send this back and say it's defective. Okay, now I have, uh, I will be pulling the log off of this to send to DJI to compare uh, data in it anyway. Um, but that's what has my concern about this one is that it resembles, it does not match up with a, Hey, I just opened it because uh, I checked the tracking. We arrived on the 3rd of June. Uh, we had our ticket open on the 5th and I was told it's never been, uh, flown. It was firmware was updated and could never get the green light to work. So I am going off of that. And, and if, if what I'm going to do now is just check it and try to see if a quick fix will work. And if it will, great. And if not, then we're stuck. So here's what I'm gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna take my tweezers here, the flat end of the tweezers, I'm gonna pop this cable right off, okay? So there's my data cable right here, all right? And you have a label on here that says RF and the other one says BB. The BB goes to the top board and the RF stays on the bottom board. Uh, sorry, opposite, RF goes to the top board. I'm looking at it because it's sitting like this. So it goes like that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I have cables, so I'm gonna take this off because I have seen this happen 
with cables, but this unit does not, there, there just seems something is off. And I will say like this, if this is, if this is all the original equipment, then I will just say to the customer, again, no offense, because I'm just giving you advice here, but whatever is happening on that workbench is, should, I mean, if you're chipping away pieces of this frame, you, there's other problems, okay? Uh, all right, now I'm gonna grab, I have an air unit because I'm doing some air unit work here anyway, so that's why I'm doing this one today. I'm gonna grab another cable. Um, I'll time out a second, hold on. I want to, okay, here's the old cable. I just wanna make sure I got this all down right, okay? So we're gonna take the RF, I'm gonna put the cable here. Let me make sure that gets in there properly. I hate, I hate, I hate doing these cables sometimes. All right, now I'm going to, even though I don't know yet if it's gonna work, I still am gonna screw this down because I don't like leaving anything too exposed. So let me get this screw going here. Let me get the other one. Hey, JJ. Hey, Dad, sorry. No, it's okay. I got a video. You can come on out, though. I'm almost done. How you doing, bud? I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. All right. So we've got that down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully try to put this cable. What's up, big boy? What's up? You guys, what you up to? Um, you take a shower? Yes, sir. Ooh, you're cleaner than me. Efficiently cleaner than me now. <laughs> Right, I'm going to very carefully try to put this down here. So let me have. Oh yeah, so Dad, I Actually, you know what? Hold, hold on, JJ. I'm going to, let me just take this. It'll be easier if I take the board off here. Let me take this board off. I don't like messing with these cables too much. What are you gonna say, bud? So um, I have this card and as a tip, it's like $500. Yeah. But it has a crease going down the whole thing. Yikes. Yeah, so it's a one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to attach it this way because I, I know it's easier for me to put the screws back in than it is for me to try to fit this cable on with the board in, inside. So let me do this. There we go. All right, cable's on. Let's get everything uh, back to normal here. Let's drop this in place. All right, we've got everything in place. Now let's put the screws back in. Hey, Sam's here. Where was she? She went to take the boxes to ship them. Oh. All right, let me put the screw in here. Hello. Hey, babe. Hello. Yeah, I'm almost done. How's it going? It's good. I'll let you know in two seconds. Yeah, there we go. There's screw number one. Put screw number two in. What, babe? What? Huh? Where are you going, JJ? You leaving me? I'm gonna go play with Lil Wayne. Okay. This should get screw number two in. It's in, there we go. All right, now let's close everything up. And again, you know, without knowing if it's gonna work, I still close everything up because I will tell you one time I didn't and I shorted out an air unit. And I refuse to do that again, so I learned from my lessons here. Um, I learned from my mistakes, I mean. So let me put these in. It takes me no time to do this. Holy moly. As I say that and throw these screws all over the place. All right, next screw, there we go, over here. And then the final screw in the back here. <laughs> this one's tougher because there's a little bit of that glue residue left. So, let's see if we can get that to go, come on. 
There we go. All right, so we've got the old cable out. And this, it's just good, like I said, it's shot in the dark, but um, it has worked in the past. So uh, before I tell the customer we've got to send it out to DJI, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot here, okay? So I'm gonna plug this in just like this. And get our boards ready and power it up. Now, we should see our red light, which we do. Let me get a little soldering. I use solder to usually test mine. Okay, so the red light's on. Now it's green and, okay, hold on. Got my cup. I can't get my soldering thing to go, hold on. There we go. We have it now in bind mode. Will you grab my goggles, please? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I should have had these ready because I really wasn't sure if this was gonna work, but now I'm struggling to get my goggles plugged in. I need a LiPo battery with an XT. Oh, this is the problem. I'm always running uh, behind on this thing. Huh? Yeah, let me have that. That'll work. Uh, no, 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 no. Can't use that one. Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm out of luck. I, I just need. To, sorry, guys. I didn't expect to be actually testing because I was hoping it would work, but I wasn't sure if it would, so I wasn't prepared for it. Um, let me see if I've got anything else that can get me into binding because I only have one power source right now. Oh, Sam, please don't break my stuff. Okay, here. I think I can use this actually. Oh, let me get that off the way. I got it. Okay, I'm going to start up the goggles. And there we go. We're now bound. Okay. Now we have no camera hooked up or anything else, but we are bound to the air unit and we have a low voltage. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, we have no image transmission right now, but we are able to bind. And you know what? It's actually getting hot now. So there we go. So we're good on this one. This is uh, good to go. Turns out that we have a bad cable inside it. Um, and the cable just needs to be replaced. I will put the cable under the microscope to see why uh, there's an issue with this uh, and check it out and see if I can f uh, get back some updates from you guys on that. As far as the way it looks though, please understand that, um, you know, I can only do so much, but when I get them back and they've got nicks in this and I'm told they've never been used, I'm not, I'm not here to discredit that. All, I'm, all I can say is there's a point where I have to just defer it to DJI. Be like, hey guys, I need y'all to warranty this. And it's under warranty so the customer can do it anyway. Um, because I have to then check and make sure that it hasn't been tampered with. Now in this case, we're lucky we got this one working. Everything's good to go. So I'm going to box this up and get it back to the customer. Hope he's happy. He's getting his stuff done. And again, this was nothing negative against him. But it is just out there as information for you guys to know that it's not just a matter of, oh, hey, let me just replace it. I've got to check because there are some pretty, pretty crazy people out there that try to do everything possible to get free product. And so everything's treated as such. All right, guys, other than that, that's it. God bless, be safe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps. So if you guys have this problem, just check your cable first. Try to get another cable if you can. See if you've got another air unit. Just take the cable out. Don't assume the board's bad yet. Let's see if we can get the cable out first and see if that helps you. In this case, it did. We are able to finally bind. All right, guys, other than that, uh, please subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.